absolutely. You are starting to see this, uh, you know, professional institutional body of, of interest in this. Um, it is quite, a, it's quite a change, right? I mean, we, we saw, you know, largely a retail play in this space. Uh, certainly the last time we had a boom in 2017, it was, you know, kind of mum and pop. Now it really does feel quite different. It feels like we've got institutions and, and that's exactly what, you know, Coindesk is, is positioning itself for, you know, this purchase of a, of an index uh, provider, trade block leading index and data provider in the space, because those institutions are going to need, you know, reliable data, reliable pricing. And, and we think we, as yeah. this deeply established news organization, are well placed to do it. Yeah, and I want to go over, and because you guys now are going to kind of be this repository for all this data, we're able to start combing through it a little bit and figure out some lessons and takeaways from what's going on with Bitcoin this year. And Michael, most striking to me is the fact that if you just even look at Google Trends and search volume, it's nowhere near today what it was in 2017. And some of your findings echo this, that a lot of the participation is is from the whales, really, that, that the retail side of it hasn't been the driving force lately. Yeah, we're obviously seeing as the price rises a lot of broad-based interest in the mainstream. But again, in 2017, this was largely a retail-led led phenomenon. And of course, it wasn't just Bitcoin. Everybody was piling into ICOs and Ether and everything. And so it was this kind of real mania-like broad-based experience. And what we actually saw at that time is the so-called whales, and, and they're measured in the Bitcoin space by those addresses and the, on the Bitcoin blockchain, there were addresses that have more than a thousand Bitcoin in them. And in fact, the numbers of those small, those large addresses were, were falling at the time of the last bubble in 2017. This time, those numbers are now at record highs. Uh, at the same time as that you point out, Google Trends are not showing quite, quite the same level of engagement amongst the broad populace. So very much a, a story around big numbers, big players coming in, and that's what's driving the price rather than this sort of broad-based kind of uh, mania, if you like. Yeah, and in fact, you guys have said that the number of active Bitcoin addresses is down from its highs, about 1.1 million or so, but it was about 1.3 back in 2017. What does all of this tell you about the nature of the run-up this time, its sustainability and, you know, the, the ownership that's been changing hands? Yeah, I mean, it certainly speaks a lot to that same story of the, of the, falling, the, the, the changing hands, right? Because if you have more, a broader base of users, there's going to be a broader base of addresses. I think people, there are a lot of people who got in back in 2017 who just said, I'm not touching that thing again, right? Because they, they lost a lot of money as we came off those highs in 2018. And so now they're out and these other guys are coming in. The numbers of active addresses are rising as well, but not to those highs. I think the question of sustainability is a really interesting one, though, right? I mean, one would think that as big money comes in, there's asset allocations, there's companies like Mass Mutual that are putting funds in. Like, when, that seems to be a long-term play, and that's a very legitimate uh, view of this. But of course, Bitcoin is always volatile. We, you know, we came off 17% just in, in a day yesterday, and now we're almost back up at those all-time highs again. Right. This is the story of this space. And I do think that there will be, traders who take advantage of this. They've got, you know, CME, uh, Bitcoin futures is a place for them to speculate. And all of that gives the opportunity to, to take profit, to short it. And so, yeah. you know, volatility is not going away. Sustainability though, I mean, we've gone up and down, you know, so many times now. I, I think the fact that we're back up again really does give some real evidence to the idea that this is a thing, right? This is, this is a thing. This is not just some flash in the pan crazy idea. Abs it, but, absolutely. You know, Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.